Um, for for construction industry, the the biggest opportunity is uh, in uh, uh, going more into the uh, improving the the building technology. Uh, what I mean by this is that uh, we have a great chance to use materials of new generation. For example, the materials that would keep the houses warmer, so you don't have to heat it. You can save right. the insulation energy cost. And, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, thermal insulation, what you call in a professional language, or there is a great opportunity to save more uh, uh, water uh, by using better piping systems. And uh, I I couldn't say that nobody is 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 trying to do that. There are a lot of companies, including ours, uh, who are developing such products and and trying to do such stuff. But uh, I would say the pace of this development is uh, much slower than I would like, I would expect it to be. Uh, for example, when you produce uh, construction chemistry, you use a lot of uh, chemical components that are hazardous uh, for environment. And this is being replaced. And the green approach, the, you can see now a lot of you know, uh, eco marking on, on, on the products. But... The, the pace is quite small because the, the industry is very conservative, as I said, and uh, a lot of workers, they don't want, uh, they don't want to get on, on something new. For example, they might say, listen, of course, this material is more environment friendly, very nice, but it's not bonding that well, it's not curing that fast uh, and, and other things. And this is actually where the construction industry should go towards the more green uh, operations and operations that are trying, uh, that, that are helping uh, with the savings, saving energy, saving, uh, you know, water uh, and other resources.